Good evening, everybody. So glad to have you back in the studio with me this evening. It's good to have you um, after a week off. Last week I was out of town, but I'm glad to be back in the studio painting again this evening. And over this past week, I have finished one of the paintings we were working on. So we're going to move on to another painting as we try to clear up some of the excess um, paintings that I have laying around the studio. This is episode 120 of the Paint Party live stream. This is my learn to paint journey. A little over two years ago, I started teaching myself to paint using first YouTube tutorials and then um, joining you here on a variety of platforms. You can participate in the live stream this evening in the comments wherever you're watching. I do enjoy engaging with you as we go through the evening, so feel free to make comments, ask questions, interact as we go through the live stream this evening. As I mentioned, I am uh, clearing out some of the paintings that I've had here in the studio. These paintings are typically ones that we've worked on in the live stream over the last uh, year or two but they weren't finished at the time that we painted them and so they've been lying around here in the studio and i'm trying to get some of those cleared out as i'm beginning to work on a brand new collection of paintings um, mostly landscapes right here in the black hills of um, western south dakota where i live so i'm trying to clear out the rest of the paintings that being said I want to thank you again for joining me, but let's jump right into the painting. I'll switch, or to the live stream. I'll switch you to the camera here as I turn my cameras around and we'll get started on this evening's painting. All right. There we go. We will jump in and I am not sure how long my camera or my computer will last last yesterday i broke my charger so i'm not able to charge my computer um i actually can charge it but it's with a different charger and it takes about 10 12 hours to charge so it's very very slow so we'll go as long as we can this evening and then we will um charge the charge the um computer overnight. I do have one on order, should be here Wednesday, so that is uh, hopefully going to solve that problem. But let's jump in this evening. Let me show you what I am working on this evening, and then we will jump into finishing that painting. Um, and at the end of the live stream, I'll show you the final painting that I did this week. I finished up the one we were working on that was um, the night scene in Amsterdam. So if you have not seen that and would like to see it as a completed painting, then I will show that at the end. Welcome, welcome, those of you that are joining the room here as we get going this evening. So glad to have you. You can participate um, through the comments wherever you are. Let me put up a reference photo for you for what we'll be working on. We started this painting several months ago, um, a painting of this beautiful horse, and I'm going to try to finish some of the detail work, some of the things that I wanted to get done on that. So let me switch this camera around here um, so that you can see my... my canvas more easily let's see hope y'all had a good week and that oh i just lost the camera let's try this there we go life is treating you well It's so difficult with this one. Actually, let me see, because it has such, that background gives such a glare. We 
we'll see if that works. Now stretch this out just a little bit. We will see. Okay. Let me switch you here. Back to, oh shoot, it's not. It's not showing me the camera. This software is so annoying. Well, now it shows. There. There we are. All right. That is what we are working on this evening. Um, you'll see that it's been sitting in the studio and has some scrapes on the canvas. So I'll need to probably do another background. But let's see another coat of the background. All right. It is quiet in here tonight. I'm losing, I lost my, there we go. Now it's back. I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. I wonder. If some of the background wonder if I can change the background a little bit before we really jump into the horse because it's so, I mean, the dark background is nice, but I wonder if we could, I just don't know. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We can always change it back, I guess. Ooh, I did not put this up. There you can see a little bit of my palette. Let me see if we can, ooh, ooh, ooh. What I'm thinking of doing is a little kind of a bluish tint to the background. Let's see what that does. For the painting because this horse is essentially shades of orange and yellow which are really complementary to blue so I'm wondering if that will make the image pop out more that's just my guess which means we'll have to work on this maybe a little more than expected, but that's all right. I do like the blue tint. Although on your screen, it probably looks a little more green Welcome, welcome. I see a few more people popping in. So glad to have you on the live stream today. This is episode 120. Kind of crazy to believe or imagine that it's been 120 episodes. hundred and twenty episodes of this weekly exploration together figuring out how 
to develop a new creative skill. It's been a lot of fun, for sure. All right. I do think I kind of like that, the blue in there. So we'll... We'll see how this goes. Okay. Now what I want to do, now that we have kind of a blue background base, is I want to go back and look at the horse itself and see where I can make adjustments and improve the improve the painting. I think part of it is color. So yeah, I am losing battery quick. So I mentioned at the beginning of the live stream that I am painting on a short time frame because my computer I lost or broke my computer charging charger. So if suddenly, I try to warn you, but if suddenly I lose power, I guess that's the end of the, that is the end of the live stream. Oh, wow. My goodness, I just noticed that the, this is random, but the paint on this brush on the handle has totally chipped off. Look at that. And they've literally just been sitting in my, I haven't used this one in months, but it just is cracking and peeling off. But the other one from the same company is not. I wonder what caused that. That's bizarre. Maybe just a bad paintbrush, because this is a, from what I know, a good, it's a rather expensive brush company. So that's interesting. Well, hmm. Okay, let me see what I would like to do. Let's see. I can maybe, um, oh, here we go. This is what I need. I actually need, the reference photo blown up on my screen. I never pulled it up, that's why. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to take some of this red. I want to really highlight some of the red, I think. Nope. Um, in his or her. Tone. So let me take some burnt sienna which is pretty orange. I'm going to mix a little bit of some yellow ochre with it and some brown just to dull it down a little bit. But let's see if we can come in here and kind of especially in these highlight spots.
because I kind of feel like that's part of the magic that was missing. When it was originally painted. Now this will dry darker. That's what's hard when you put it on it looks like bright orange. Granted it's also um, there we go. It is also got the glare of the camera on it, but let's see. Let's see if we can. I know that this may seem really weird to just cover all of that with the orange, but then what we do is come back with some a little bit of yellow. Lighten it up a bit. Let's see if we can put some Welcome, those of you just popping in. Um, then what, especially with acrylics, what is helpful, although it is frustrating, are is adding layers upon layers upon layers. So even though it looks like I've kind of maybe ruined this, this painting, um, what I'm hoping to do is put more and more layers because I liked the drawing of the animal that I had done on the original painting I mean like where everything is placed I like that but now
I want to see what I can do. Hi there, Mom and Dad. Thanks for popping in. Hey, Bob G. Yes, it is a beautiful animal, isn't it? That's what I really hope I can. I hope that I can uh, capture more of its beauty. And I am losing battery quickly tonight, y'all. I'm already at 70% in the last 10 minutes. Or I went from 70 to, or 80 to 70%. So we will just see how quickly this goes. I'll paint as long as I can, but it will probably be much shorter tonight. If we can get an hour in, I'm going to really try to get to the top of the hour. But if we do not, that is... I, am, I apologize in advance. I think I really want this.
what I'm realizing with this painting in particular, how important these subtle highlights are to giving that feeling of the horse being three-dimensional. Now I am putting just a little bit of white into this. Let me see, because I want to create kind of that highlight grayish color that is so important right around here. This is even out here on the outer edge. Comes in kind of where his mouth is.
this is this type of painting is such a challenge similar to when like we painted that um, dog that was brown or we did one that was like kind of a blondish white color when an animal or any subject appears to be basically one color it really is a challenge to train your eye to see these minor minor variations in um value excuse me values to um and to get them to read correctly It's almost like we have to go way up, come way back down. But I'm confident we can get there. I need to do now is to look at some let's take the burnt umber and a little bit of burnt sienna so that we have that darker red take just a tad of the blue so that the blue gives us kind of shadow color Let's come in here and see what that does for us. Oh, we need a little more blue, I think. It's crazy how powerful a color red is, isn't it? So... See how just a little bit of that suddenly starts to really blend that through. Let's give it some Too much. I don't want to.
There we go. Starting to really... I'm liking how this is going now, if we can just get this correct. Corrected. Keep moving that direction. And I think we'll be really well set. So, let's do some, yeah, this, get rid of that. I want to do is come in with kind of almost this purple brown color, which is you can't really tell, but that's what's mixed there. And I want to come in and start. The underside of this jawline. Really lay in that. It is kind of a shadow. I want to kind of lay in a line that goes down here because that gives us that feeling of the the cords of the neck and we another one we want is on this side of the neck that's a bit too abrupt but it gives the gives us that definite okay let's take this again Okay, y'all, I am running down. I'm at 43% now, so it does look like I'm going to have to end here in the next 10 minutes or so, which makes me sad because I really uh, am feeling this painting, but... I remember the first time I painted this painting did the same thing where all of a sudden the dark spots were just like too too much But we'll see if we can 
even those out a little bit. Another reason these are so difficult is every little like sinew has a light side and a dark side. So you, you get like these, whoops, you get these uh, shadows that are on both sides of every little sinewy part. Now, we have to just putting in where the shadow side of this the ears are and the hair that way I can go back and add the dark side later um, that came down way too low, but now let's take a little bit into this and see if we can lighten it up with the red a little bit. Okay, now that we have that, and we come in here and do some sculpting on the underside of his jaw. Soften some of these lines up. I think we can. Looks a bit like the only horse I rode, 10 years old, slid down a porch railing onto his back. He buckled me over it. He bucked me over his head on the <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I rode a horse at on my mom's cousin's farm when I was a kid. 
road very used very lightly um, he we ended the saddle ended up sliding sideways and I fell off him um, fortunately he wasn't he was super tame and was well behaved and everything but it was a little traumatic for a kid um, Okay, I'm really liking this part of the horse, and I'm getting where I like this. I'm still not sure the eye and some of those things are off, but I am pretty happy. Let's see. Or I'm getting, um, you know, I'm a little more happy. So, um, what I want to do is see if I can... More of this purple, a little bit of brown. I want to really see what I can do with this by pushing the value um, quite a bit. This will look white. See what There.
It's too much. I'll have to keep finessing this until it's the right balance. But I think I'm going to wrap up pretty quick here because I only have 27% left on my battery. Again, I apologize. It will be corrected by next week. I'll have a battery on or a charger on the way and I will be able to get through a whole live stream next week. So oh, this is not even what I want, but I'll see. All right, we have good shape, I think. We'll just keep finessing this. I'm really happy with this, so I'm just going to leave that. I'll put in his mane at the very end, or more definition on the mane. But the rest will just be kind of fine-tuning this like we did here. But I did want to bring the the color up on this because that's so stark in the original and it's so strong so that's kind of really i wanted that stark contrast so um that is what we're going for all right let me real quick before i lose all of my battery because at some point my oh there we go at some point my um computer just conks out when it gets to it doesn't go all the way down to zero percent it'll just die so i want to switch around say good evening to y'all i do want to show you those of you who didn't aren't on my socials or didn't see the final project from the uh the one we were working on, I wanted to show that to you so that you, if you didn't see it, you can see it. I think I have it sitting here. Oh, yes. So let me switch this back to there. All right. So this is the night scene of uh, Amsterdam that we were working on for several weeks. It is finished. I did a little more detail work in the um buildings just refining the shape of some of the windows so that they were more even and then i put this reflection back into the water just not as bright as the lights up here so that it would look like a true reflection and then i kind of repainted the boat a little bit to make the perspective look correct really happy with how this turned out so um We've been working on that for several weeks, and it was months sitting in my studio um, unfinished. So I wanted to show that to you all. Turned out um, a great painting. I'm really pleased with it, and I learned a lot along the way. So that being said, I want to say thank you so much for all of you that have joined us for this short um, version of the live stream. We will be back next week. Monday evening, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, regular length, um, because I'll be able to keep my computer plugged in and charged. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you have a great week. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram for um, completed paintings and kind of what's going on in the studio. So if you're not following me there, feel free to do that. And um, otherwise, I will say good night. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, everybody.